Even on a perfectly manicured golf course, loose impediments can sometimes pose a problem, as discussed in this edition's Rules Tip by MGA Tournament Director Gene Westmoreland. Welcome to Nassau Country Club, the site of this year's Ike Championship. Got a little quiz for you. Are you entitled to remove loose impediments, and is there a penalty if the ball should move? And question two, exactly what is the difference between a movable and an immovable obstruction? Dealing with loose impediments. If you had an answer to that question, I'd say you probably answered too quickly because it differs depending on where the ball lays. For instance, with my ball on the putting green, if I have interference with a loose impediment like this leaf, I can remove the loose impediment. And if the ball moves, I just replace the ball with no penalty. Through the green, if I have similar interference, like I do here with this stick, I'm entitled to remove the loose impediment. But if the ball moves, I pick up a stroke penalty. So be careful. You do have to replace the ball, of course. If my ball come to rest in a hazard, like this bunker, and I have interference with a loose impediment, like those leaves down there, I cannot remove the loose impediment. In fact, if I touch the loose impediment with my club or hand, before I actually make my stroke, I pick up a penalty. So be real careful when your ball comes to rest in a hazard. Now let's deal with the obstructions. Okay, so what's the difference between a movable and an immovable obstruction? Well, both of these things, the rake and the sprinkler cap, are both obstructions. What makes the sprinkler cap an immovable obstruction is that I couldn't move it without excessive effort, delaying play, or by doing damage to the golf course. When you have interference by a movable obstruction, like the rake, I'm entitled to relief any place on the golf course and I get that relief by simply moving the obstruction. If the ball moves, I replace it without penalty. Good reminder, if that same thing were to happen in the bunker, I can remove the rake and if the ball moves again, simply replace it without penalty. When I have interference by an immovable obstruction, I have to get relief by moving the ball, find the nearest point of relief, and then drop a ball within a club length of that point. Well, Learning the relief procedure for obstructions, loose impediments, can only make you a better player.